Hey, this is interesting. In order for lactic acid to cause muscle fatigue or soreness, it would have to exist longer than a split second, which it doesn't. Kind of like George Santos' political career. Lactic acid in a muscle was first found in a dead deer that had been running. This started a series of studies that seemingly connected tired muscles to a buildup of acid, which was assumed to be lactic acid. Sports physiologists, coaches, and athletes began teaching that lactic acid was the major cause of muscle fatigue and soreness during exercise. But then research followed the money, or in this case, lactic acid, and found that immediately after being formed, lactic acid splits into lactate and a hydrogen ion. Following the lactate, they found that it becomes an energy source for that muscle or sent elsewhere to provide energy to other muscles in the heart and to support brain health. So they determined that the lactate part of lactic acid doesn't cause muscle fatigue or soreness, but rather provides an additional source of energy, particularly during intense exercise. That leaves the hydrogen or acid part, which does cause your muscles to tire during those same intense workouts. But wait, there's more to the story. Story. Acid also comes from the breakdown of ATP, the common energy source of your cells. So the harder you push during exercise, the more ATP you break down and the more acid you produce. Plus, there are other waste products that build up during exercise, like phosphate and nitric oxide, that also cause fatigue. Now, this isn't all new. I've talked about the myth of lactic acid in other videos, but a recent comprehensive paper that reviewed studies from 1907 to 2024 adamantly concludes that lactic acid does not cause muscle fatigue and that the acid from lactic acid contributes to fatigue along with many other sources. And since acid is one of the major contributors, the study pointed out that taking a buffering agent before exercise can delay fatigue in a improve bouts of intense exercise. I've covered two of these, sodium bicarbonate and beta alanine in other videos, so check those out. So let's put to rest all these myths about lactic acid that were started by the 1907 Nobel Prize in Chemistry winner George Santos. No. As always, my answers come from peer-reviewed research. 